The burial of Ntate Simon Lekinyane, the father of ANC NEC member Comrade Soviet Lekinyane, has become a source of controversy on what was supposed to be a day of respect and sadness. Please kindly hit on the subscribe button as we go into the details. Honoring the life and legacy of a respected elder was the focus of the Jema Mabalo Festival. But when a user of X, previously Twitter, accused the ANC of hijacking the event to talk about former President Jacob Zuma, it caused an unanticipated scandal. The criticism, which was shared on social media, implied that by bringing up Zuma at the ceremony, the ANC had improperly used the serious occasion to further its own political goals. The critics said that even after Zuma left the public eye, ANC members were still using his name to foment conflict and discussion. While the critique did not specifically mention Kansani Kabei, it did imply that the party behaved disrespectfully at the burial. Kabei, who was present at the burial, vigorously refuted the charge. With a sharp comment, she refuted the allegation, Stop smoking. This answer not only disproved the rumor that Zuma was brought up at the gathering, but it also brought attention to South Africa's wider political unrest. The scathing response highlighted the difficulties public figures have when negotiating the complicated terrain of political debate. This episode serves as a reminder of how difficult it may be to control public image and preserve tact in politically tense situations. Funerals may become contentious occasions in South Africa, a country where political problems from the past and present often collide. It is impossible to overstate the contribution that social media sites like X make to the quick and extensive transmission of ideas and charges in these kinds of confrontations. The response to Kabe's refutation also serves as an example of how online platforms impact political debate and actual occurrences. Social media interactions happen instantly, which often amplifies the effect of remarks made in public and critiques received, so influencing the story in real time. As things develop, this scenario calls for more thorough consideration of the limits of political debate and the impact of digital platforms on social developments. The episode serves as a reminder of the careful balance that must be struck when bringing up difficult subjects in public, particularly when there is widespread mourning. Once more, Faikal Mbalula, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, ANC, warned the party's opponents in a furious speech, highlighting the ANC's tenacity and will to hold onto power. In a speech to party members, Mbalula discussed the difficulties the ANC has recently experienced, pointing out that opposition forces' attempts to undermine the party's supremacy had finally failed. Make sure you hit your target if your goal is to defeat the devil, Mbalula said, eliciting cheers from the assembly. His words emphasized the African National Congress's determination to not just weather political difficulties, but to become stronger. They attempted, but were unable to unseat us. He went on, citing the ANC's results in the most recent elections, in which the party suffered a decline in its base of support, they could only take us to 40%. Mbalula insisted that the ANC is still in charge in spite of the defeats emphasizing the party's resilience in the face of difficulty. He said, Look now, we are in power, establishing the ANC as a political entity that is still essential to South Africa's governing structure. In order to further support his points, Mbalula also used the tactical guidelines provided by the late NC Youth League leader Peter Mokaba. As Peter Mokaba famously said, Our strategic objective is not to struggle for dominance. It is to stay in power and never lose power, Mbalula said, highlighting the party's dedication to holding on to power and its long-term goals. Mbalula's address is being given at a moment when the ANC is dealing with serious internal and foreign issues. The party has been battling factionalism, dwindling support among voters, and mounting public discontent with its leadership. Mbalula's remarks, however, indicate that the ANC is prepared to take on these difficulties head-on by emphasizing resilience and consolidation. The Secretary General's statements also underscore the African National Congress's ANC strategic approach to power maintenance, which centers on historical lessons and unites the party base behind the notion of strength and solidarity in the face of hardship. Mokaba, a renowned figure in the party's past, was brought up by Mbalula to remind ANC members of their common goal and the value of sticking with it. 
Mbalula's speech acts as a rallying cry for the ANC as it prepares to maintain its position and exert control over the nation's political affairs in the face of an increasingly competitive political scene.